What's up, y'all? Timothy Alman Jr. here, and you are tuned in to Mom Asylum. Like and share, and maybe I'll end your subscription. If not, cool. Thanks for checking out my review, anyways. Today, yes, today you saw that I am doing whoosh, yeah, spicy lemonade and huckleberry lemonade. This is from Dry Fly. They got lures on them. Fly fishing. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Premium packable mixed drink. Yes. They are on the fly. Whoosh, that's their quote. Little slogan there. Uh, the chick at the liquor store recommended them highly. And, you know, obviously she's just trying to sell product. But I still appreciate her saying they're great. I mean, I was going to buy them anyways, but, you know. What does she know? Maybe she's never even drank them. But these were $13.95. Yes, $13.95. Now, hold on to your ass for a four-pack. Yeah, 14 bucks. Over 14 bucks since they are $0.10 cents per can deposit. Yeah. So, um, very expensive. Very, very expensive. Let's go ahead and rip one of these bitches off and see what they got to offer. Flip before you sit. One flip, two flips. How many flips? How many flips are we getting? I think this one to be shaken, not stirred. All right, let's look at here. All right, Kootenai River, Idaho, Dry Fly Distilling. Inc. in Spokane, Washington. That's where this is from. Dryflydistilling.com. Check it out. Distilled and canned by Dryfly. This ready to enjoy spicy lemonade features our award winning Dryfly vodka with fresh jalapeno and house made lemonade to give you a spicy and refreshing taste of the Northwest. Best enjoyed with friends on your favorite stream, river, lake, or mountain, or in your own backyard. So when you got your rods out and you're throwing your fly down into the water, you could be sipping on this. Yes, this. And enjoy it. All right. Please enjoy the outdoors and our products responsibly. 5.4% alcohol by volume. Dry fly is vodka with natural flavors. Let's get in the huckleberry. Wow. God. Let's see here. Ready to enjoy huckleberry lemonade features our award winning blah 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 blah. Same quote. Just huckleberries on there. Um blah 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 blah. blah. 4.9 percent alcohol by volume this is higher concentrated than this one enjoy these are the only two products that they had i will be on the lookout for more and if you have any recommendations please let me know in the comments and i will try to search out and find such products let's get oh i didn't flip this one we'll do one flip this one i did like six Let's go ahead and crack a lack the spicy lemonade. I'd like to see what the hollow is all about. <sighs> Definitely smells like jalapeno powder. Zero lemonade scent. And that's all I'm smelling. Cheers. So it's a very mildly sweet lemonade, not too sweet, which is perfect. And then it's blended with jalapeno powder, I'm going to assume. They claim that they have fresh jalapenos in here, so maybe that's what they do. 
but I'm getting more of a uh, powdery jalapeno uh, flavor to it. And it's actually very unique. You get this sweet yet kind of spicy flavor. Um, so if you're sensitive to spices, this is probably too much. But if you're not, this is not going to be spicy enough. But yet they did a very good job creating a great balance without separating one from the other. It's, it's very well done. So overall, that's a good product. I enjoy it. I like it. All right, Huckleberry. Huckleberries are very prominent around here in Oregon. Um, I eat them all the time when I'm up camping. You find a bunch of bushes and you're just out there popping fucking hucks. You know what I mean? And they're so fucking good. So good. Me and my kids, we just fucking slam down the hucks. So. This one is stronger on the lemonade scent than the other one. It's kind of got a sweet aroma, but it's very, very light. It doesn't have that sour bitterness that huckleberries usually have but it does have the huckleberry flavor it's just not as strong and it tastes absolutely nothing like lemonade now both products are very easy to drink they are chuggable. They could be dangerous if you are one of those fucking types of people. So be careful, especially around the campfire. But these are great, and they're going to pair well with um, a nice fatty steak. I wouldn't recommend it with a Cheez-Its or a cheese or some kind of light snack. These are better for a meal. Yes. Um... But Dry Fly has uh, earned itself a solid 10 out of 10. Congratulations. Until next time, I'm Timothy Alamayam Jr. Fuck off.